What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, I want to talk a little bit about why the Patriots actually ended up drafting Nikhil Harry. We got some news about Bill Belichick and, you know, kind of Robert Kraft, how they're kind of changing up their draft process, how they go about things, how Belichick has kind of been over the last few years and even his drafting career. And details have just come out, which have given a good amount of perspective on why somebody like Nikhil Harry was taken. Of course, they did select him at the end of the draft in, I believe, 2018 with the 32nd overall pick. So last pick in the first round. Uh, but a lot of people were asking, yo, Belichick, you know, why not DK Metcalf? Why not AJ Brown? And it was even reported that Patriot scouts had those guys higher than Nikhil Harry. In fact, if I remember correctly, Nikhil Harry was the second wide receiver taken in the 2018 draft with just Hollywood Brown being taken first by the Ravens. But for those who missed it, last week, Belichick had spoken to the media, or not Bell, Belichick, uh, but last week, Robert Kraft spoke to the media, which was very interesting as we don't see this too much, but he said that he has seen a different approach from the Patriots regarding the draft process, and Albert Breer spoke about this in his article. Now, of course, in the past, we haven't really seen too much from you know, Belichick and, and rumors when it comes to the draft process. Belichick is a very, very closed off guy when it comes to the draft. And it was even reported that he has a very, very tight inner circle when it comes to the draft. You know, Belichick doesn't really trust, it seems like, too many guys when it comes to this process. It's just him and maybe one or two other guys that he essentially really listens to. But at the end of the day, it really just comes back to himself. And because of Belichick having such a tight circle and, and kind of just trusting himself rather than other people, a lot of personnel within the Patriots organization kind of felt like they were left out, like they weren't needed, which is very understandable. Maybe that's part of why Nick Casario wanted out of New England so bad. So essentially what would happen would be that the scouts the Patriots have, you know, the guys who during the Patriots regular season, playoffs, you know, Super Bowl, when Belichick is just focused on the Patriots' actual season, playing actual NFL football, these scouts are going out, they're doing their job, they're watching these college games, they're traveling to get insight on the draft and, you know, potential future Patriots. But as soon as the Patriots' season ended, the scouts' jobs was done. You know, usually with any other team, the scouts' job never stops. It's every single day, 365 days a year, you're getting ready for this draft. As soon as, you know, the draft's done, maybe take a tiny break, but for the most part, you're on to next year's draft. But when the Patriots season would end, the scouts were done, that's when Belichick took over. And that in itself, when I, you know, I love Belichick, I trust Belichick, he is a genius, he's a mastermind, greatest coach of all time, don't get me wrong. But you got to trust your scouts, you know what I'm saying? When you're focused for, you know, the, the whole year, essentially, on your team, on NFL football, and then once that ends, you expect in a couple of months to, to kind of gather everything by yourself and the, and the information and kind of make your own decisions. It's like, well, you know, what are you, what are you doing? You got you to gotta trust these guys because they're doing this for months and months while you are still, you know, focusing on your NFL season with the Pats. Now, not only would it be handed off to Belichick, but it would also be handed off to, again, that very, very small and tight inner circle he has. Who exactly that inner circle is, it wasn't really reported, but it was very specified that it was very small and that the scouts' jobs would be done as soon as the Patriots' season would end. It's also worth noting that most NFL teams, you know, the majority of these NFL teams have consistent meetings with their scouts between the times of February and April, but New England has their meetings between the times of December and February. Obviously, that's a little weird, a little shocking because that's so early. You know, you're ending in February when you still have March and April when you're, you know, the combine and you're hearing more about these players. And that was actually frustrating a lot of these scouts that the Patriots had. Very understandable. 
I mean, again, keep in mind how much stuff happens, how much news we've heard about, you know, these these drafting players or these players entering the draft, you know, from the times of March to April. Draft boards change tremendously from the times of the start of the, the college season to the end of the college season, from February to, to March to April, from December to, to March to April. So it's hard to set your draft board when you're kind of having these meetings so early on in the process. And this is where it gets to Nikhil Harry. Now, Breer noted that in recent memory, when it came to somebody like Nikhil Harry, most scouts of the Patriots actually preferred A.J. Brown and Debo Samuel over Nikhil Harry. But Belichick stuck, or stuck, rather, to his own draft methods and didn't listen to the advice of the scouts, the guys that, again, are doing their work throughout the year while Belichick is doing his job with the Pats. Breer added that the, uh, not the Patriots, but Breer added that Nikhil Harry killed his pre-draft visit with the Patriots. And pre-draft visits are a little different than they are back then compared to what they are now because right now they're virtual. But back then, you only had a certain amount of pre-draft visits. The Patriots used one of them on Nikhil Harry. He came down to Boston, was in Gillette Stadium for a little bit for that visit. And because of that, it led to him being drafted. So because of that pre-draft visit and him doing so well with the Patriots, not necessarily on an athletic standpoint or a talent standpoint, but just as his personality standpoint, because with these pre-draft visits, it's really you sitting down with the team and talking and connecting and having these discussions. That's what Belichick took from Nikhil Harry, who he was as a person and not his talent and what he could bring to the team. It's also worth noting that Bill Belichick has a really good relationship with then ASU head coach in Todd Graham. And of course, Harry was the pick. So essentially, why New England chose to go with Nikhil Harry over a DK Metcalf, Debo Samuel, AJ Brown was because of Bill Belichick, my friends. It wasn't because the Patriots scouts weren't doing their jobs. It was not because the the department and the personnel the Patriots have within scouting these players was so bad. It was because Belichick was not listening to them. You know, Belichick stepped in once the Patriots season was done for the for, for the few months that they had, you know, until the the draft happened. He kind of met with the players at the end of, you know, this this process. And really based them off of their personality, who they were, how they kind of were going to fit the system from, again, the personality standpoint. He didn't look too much as a system fit and kind of just from a, from a point of, look how talented you are. And that was the thing with Bill Belichick and the Patriots that so many times, I think, gets us all upset is that you'll have these high name draft guys still on the board and the Patriots will get a guy who's supposed to go two rounds later that nobody knows the name of from the smallest college you could possibly understand. And then of course that player ends up not doing well. And then a player that was on the board they could have selected does tremendously. You know, sometimes face value is important. They're face value for a reason. I mean, the Patriots did this, for example, just a couple of years ago when they selected Duke Dawson in the second round. I mean, I think it was pretty clear that Debo Samuel was a much better fit with the Pats. A.J. Brown, a much, much better fit with the Patriots. I could have told you that was a better system fit. But that's because me personally, I looked at it from how they play on the field, who they are from a talent and football standpoint not from a personality standpoint. And you know what? Nikhil Harry Belichick got that right. If Belichick was drafting guys for personality, he hit the nail on the head with Nikhil Harry because Nikhil Harry as a person is tremendous. His work ethic, tremendous. A guy in the locker room, tremendous. He does everything he is asked to do, does not complain. But of course, that doesn't exactly help you on the football field. Now, I want to end this video by telling you guys that we have the ability to now look from a more positive direction because Breer did report that Bill Belichick's inner circle has opened up tremendously 
And he's been much, much more collaborative this year, especially compared to years prior. So it sounds like Belichick's going to trust these guys, and he's going to listen to more opinions than just himself. Now, in addition to, to, to that, um, you know, guys like usual that usually help out, Dave Ziegler, Elliot Wolf, you know, Nick Casero from the past, scouts like that are now a much larger um, priority and a much larger member within the Patriots operations. In fact, I do believe the Patriots this offseason fired one of their scouts and then they brought somebody new in. Now, we're just going to have to see if this works, but we do know that Belichick's draft history has not been great, not been great at all, and Kraft, Kraft himself even vocally said that about Belichick, and Kraft never does that about Belichick, so that is saying something, and I think now that we have seen kind of the, the failed opportunities the Patriots have had in the past, Belichick's sitting back like, you know what, I don't have Brady anymore, I want to succeed, I need to do a better job. So I'm hoping that the Patriots will look more into talent aspect on the field and what a guy brings and not just his personality. Personality is still a huge, huge thing that you want to consider. You don't want to get a guy who's going to be a big issue off the field and isn't going to help in the locker room. But at the end, you don't want to value who a player is off the field over how he's going to be for a player and and his talent point on the field. So, you know, I, again, I just do hope that maybe we see a little bit more face value selections from the Patriots going forward, especially in these higher rounds. Before we end this video, though, I do want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this video, BetOnline.ag. BetOnline is the fastest and easiest ways to bet on all of your sports action. Football might be over, but NBA, college basketball, and the NHL are still a full swing. BetOnline even covers awards, TV shows, and reality TV, along with real-time updated odds and props on almost anything you can imagine. BetOnline also has you covered for all of the new scores and odds, and it is the best way to place your bets, and it's completely free to sign up. All you guys got to do is head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. Don't sit on the sidelines anymore. Get in with the action and don't forget to use that promo code CLNS50 to receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. That has been online, your online sportsbook experts. So guys, I hope that gives some insight on why the Patriots, you know, even drafting to kill Harry, because I think that was a big question mark the Patriots fans have had for years, and gives some insight on how the Patriots draft strategy is changing going forward and how it was in the past. If this video helped you out, I found it interesting and informative. Please make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. It helps me and the YouTube algorithm out tremendously and other Patriots fans in finding this channel. Subscribe to the channel for all of the New England Patriots news if you haven't already. But like always, I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.